In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Goose Chase Interactive. So stick around, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So today I'm talking about one of my favorite tools for the classroom, and that is Goose Chase. Goose Chase was inspired by scavenger hunts. It's an online platform that helps teachers create interactive experiences for students. Now, this is not just for teachers and it's not just for students. There are multiple ways it can be used. But for this video, I am talking about how can this be used in the classroom for education? Now, I know you want to know, is this product free? Well, there is a free version and a paid version. So you can see the paid options here on the screen. Now the free version does give you the option of having up to three teams in team mode or up to three participants in solo mode. So if you don't have the funds to purchase this, you can definitely use the free version. Now there is a special price for educators. So definitely check out the price by clicking on the EDU subscriptions. Me personally, I think the paid version, the educator version is well worth it. And I just really love this tool. Now let's look at how you would organize a goose chase experience. And again, this is simply a scavenger hunt. There is an app for this, which I highly recommend that you have your students download the app so that they can join your goose chase experience or your scavenger hunt to get started. So you can click here to learn more about the experience. I'm just going to scroll down and just give you a brief summary of how this works. So as the teacher, you can set up these different missions and all it is is tasks that you want your students to do. And if you look here, there are some examples of what students can do. They can respond by simply writing a response. They can respond by uploading a photo. Um, there are several ways that they can respond. You can upload video as well. So you as the teacher would just simply create these various tasks for your students. And I use this a lot when we do field trips. I think it works well for field trips or any time that you want to go outside with your students. You can also use this indoors in the classroom as well. Now you as the teacher will assign points to each one of these missions. And here's an example here on the screen. And then once the student completes the mission, they will earn however many points that you set it up for. And at the end of your mission, you're looking to see what student has the most points. That student is going to win the scavenger hunt or that team, if you're in team mode, will win the scavenger hunt. And then you can essentially give students some type of um, incentive, a present. I am signed into my account on my desktop. I do have the Educator Plus, which is $99 for the entire year. You can see some of the scavenger hunts or experiences that I've created here. Bowling night, I've done some for my classroom, the Christmas parade, the state leadership conference for FBLA, for my FBLA officers, a wiregrass field trip to a particular uh, college the fall motivational rally for FBLA. You can even use it to get your kids to read the syllabus that you sent home, or you can use it for assignments like the food truck project that I have here. Now the kids again will be using their cell phones, so they will have to download the app. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the um, missions that I have put in for, for these tasks. Now, when you set this up, you do need to add a photo. That's always a good idea. You need to name your experience or scavenger hunt, give it a des description, and you can put in the location. This is optional. You can also set up a password so, so that you don't have random students trying to join. They would need your password in order to join. Now, if you notice over here on the left-hand side, this is the join code that students will need in order to join your particular mission or scavenger hunt. Now, if you click on this share icon down here at the bottom, you can share your missions with other teachers. So if you want them to join as a, a and co-manage your game, then you can certainly do that by copying the link or inviting them with their email. You can also copy your mission to another teacher so they don't have to recreate it. So if I click on copying, 
there's a um, an invite link that I can share with someone else and then that way they don't have to start over and create everything from scratch now you have several items on the left hand side and I won't click on all of these but you have details mission script branding participants start and end so you can set a start time and an end time so that the game automatically ends you have an activity feed a leaderboard to see who's in the lead a submissions feed so you can see who has submitted um, a mission and then your dash dashboard now right now I'm on missions and here's where you can add a mission you can also look at missions that are already pre-made or previous missions that you've had um, that you've used for another scavenger hunt so this is what the missions look like again you can upload photos you can type instructions you can set points as well you can edit or delete a mission I'm gonna scroll on down for example here's a mission that tells the student to take a selfie so it says take a selfie of yourself inside Jack's lanes so remember this is my bowling scavenger hunt um, this one's a uh, strike or spare so you can tell the students hey take a picture of the screen if you get a strike or if you get a spare um, down at the bottom you may say this one's called marked as safe you're finally home from whatever field trip you've taken give your parents a hug tell them you miss them and um, go ahead and give me a photo or a video that you are marked safe at home so this one was pretty cool as well so there are just multiple ways uh, or multiple missions or tasks that you can get your students to complete and this is just a few of those I highly recommend that you check out the pre-made missions because you can definitely revamp the pre-made missions and reuse them you can also change your mission order right now mine stays on drag and drop so I can go over here and drag and drop and change the order of my missions so that's a pretty good uh, tool as well over here you can see the number of missions and how many points they're worth and so forth this is what the start and the end page looks like so you can schedule your goose chase to start and end at a certain time or you can do it manually now remember um, students will be using their phones they download the app and they join using that join code if you decide to use groups then only one student in the group would need a phone or device and the other ones would not so just kind of keep that in mind so this concludes the video tutorial on how to use goose chase for education if you guys are loving this content don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time iTech on demand posts a new video thanks for watching